Today we're going to show how you can reveal the bitrate information in File Explorer for every folder that contains MP3 files, which is especially useful when you have a large collection of MP3s. In my case, I work with a large collection of music CDs that I've accumulated over the years, and when I store music on my computer, there may have been times in the past when I've used a lower bitrate than the one I've standardized on today. Because of that, I might have a mix of MP3 files with bit rates of 320, 256, or even 128 kilobits per second. Of course, if you're storing to the lossless FLAC format, this is a moot point. But for those of you keeping them in MP3 format, I'll show you how you can quickly expose that metadata for every MP3 listed in File Explorer. As an example, I have a set of folders organized by artist, then album, where each album subfolder contains its tracks. These are represented as normal files in File Explorer. If you want to find out the bitrate of a single track, you can simply right-click on it and select Properties. Tabbing to Details reveals the bitrate. But that would be tedious to do for every single file one by one. What I'd like to do is show that bitrate data right on this screen, alongside the other columns like Date Modified and Size. But displaying MP3s with this particular set of information isn't ideal. By right-clicking the album folder itself, we can select Properties and tab to Customize, where we can optimize the listing for music instead of documents. Once we hit OK, metadata like track number, title, artist, and album will be displayed as columns. To reveal the bitrate, you can click the View menu, drop down the Add Columns menu, and choose Bitrate. That adds the column to the file list, showing you the bitrate for each and every track for this album. The only problem is that when you navigate to another album folder, the customization isn't applied across subfolders, although it does persist for the album to which I applied it. What I'd like to do is show the bitrate for every MP3 in all folders. To apply the music metadata to all albums, you need to go to the parent folder which contains all the albums. There, I'll right-click and select Properties, where once again, I'll tab over to Customize and choose the Music Optimization. However, I'll also check this box to apply the template to all subfolders, which changes the file columns for every album. The problem is that it still doesn't show the bitrate column. Even when I navigate back to my first album, it's overwritten the customization that I made earlier and has reverted back to the standard music template. You can see that the bitrate column that I added previously has disappeared. To make the columns persist, we'll need to add the bitrate column again. What you'll want to do is configure this view exactly how you want all other music folders to appear. So you can add other columns if you wish, including genre, year, and so on, and even reorganize the columns to your liking. For instance, let's drop the bitrate column right here. Afterwards, hit Options in the ribbon and select Change Folder and Search Options. This will open the Folder Options dialog box, where I'll tab to View, and then hit the Apply to Folders button. This will save your column configuration for the current template, which happens to be Music. Let's click Yes, and then OK. Now, when I navigate to other albums which have been formatted as music, you'll see the custom column configuration applied to each album. I can easily find out which albums or tracks may have been encoded to a lower bitrate and update them accordingly. If, in the future, you switch to a music template for any other folder, this same column configuration will be applied. I hope you enjoyed. Thanks for watching.